in the olden days, I could remember old timers from the neighborhood saying they used to go out there what they called the Palongo line and used to actually catch the blue crab with a bush. It was a, a bush that came out of the marsh, the basin, and they would hang them on lines. You'd actually catch hard crabs as well as soft crabs, what you would call a landing net nowadays or a scoop net. And that's how they would catch the crabs or retrieve the crabs off of the Palonga line or the bushes. And as times went on, they started fishing with a trap. And back then it was just a plain old galvanized trap. Nowadays, everything is caught with a, a wire trap, a crab pot as some people would call it. A crab pot is, is actually constructed out of uh, some galvanized wire, which is actually PVC coated after it's galvanized. Um, it's a two by two square, more or less, and it's roughly 16 inches tall. It has four entrances in the bottom where the crabs, you know, go in through the funnels or what we call the chute. And they have a bait box in the center that actually attracts the crab. That's where they go to try and get the food. You might go through a line of 50 traps, 75 traps, one continuous line, which they probably spaced about 150, 200 feet apart. And that line may actually run for two and a half, three miles, sometimes four miles, depending on how far apart you space them. And one, one row or line, as you would call it, may catch better than another row that could actually be a half a mile, three quarters of a mile away. And you just gotta keep moving your pots to try and keep them in the blue crab. Sometimes you, you can run back to back, uh, you know, if, like I say, if the crabs are really running, you could fish every day. Otherwise, in Lake Pontchartrain, we might let a trap sit three or four days before you even run it. It goes through cycles. Sometimes it might be all male shedding crabs, sometimes it's females. It just depends on the time of the year and the cycle that they're going through. You've got great years, and then some years you got really horrible years where you just actually, you know, make an expense and paying your bills. You know, I would never change anything. You just got to be very dedicated and have a drive to, you know, and love what you're doing.